you're welcome back to my channel today we'll be looking at a fraction hack addition of fractions let's look at these two examples on the board before i give you the hack we are going to first of all solve it the right way then the hack because of our objective questions and you will not tell me the best or which one you would rather do now let's look at five all over seven plus two over five we want to add the two firstly when you look at the denominators you find out that they are what the denominator this is seven this is five so we are going to look for the lcm right because they have different denominators we are going to look for the lcm and also you can also observe that the seven and five they are what they are prime numbers since they are prime numbers it's easier because nothing can divide the both of them right you can just multiply the two or let me still show you how to do the lcm you have the lcm this way you put your seven and your five what can divide primes are just itself and one so we'll start with five five you bring that seven and this is one seven you do one one and you multiply five times seven is going to give us 35. So 35 is now the de new denominator. We are going to now have it this way. You put your 35 here and then 7. 7 going into 35. How many times or what will you multiply by 7 to give you 35 or a number very close to 35? That is 5. And when you get that as 5, you multiply it with the numerator. What is the numerator here? We have 5. So we are going to have Five we, we got from our answer multiplied by the numerator, which is five. You're going to have 25 here. Then you put your addition sign. Five going into 35 is seven times. Seven times two is one, 14. So what are we going to have? We will now add. We have 25 plus 14 will give us what? This is 39. Four plus five is what? Nine. And two plus one is three. All over 35 39 all over what 35 are we going to leave our answer this way no we are not going to leave it this way because what it is an improper fraction 39 is bigger than the denominator the numerator is bigger than the numerator so the numerator is bigger than the denominator so it's an improper fraction we will change it to a mixed fraction now we are going to have 35, how many times with 35 going to 39 without a remainder? We have 1, and that 1 is going to be our whole number. Then the remainder will be the numerator, and the denominator still remains 35. So now we have 1 will go there. How many times? Once, and it will remain 4, right? Because of we have 39, take away 35, we will have 4. So the 4 is here all over 35. That is going to be our final answer. If we still multiply it out, 35 times 1 plus 4 will give us back to, to take us back to that 39 all over 35. Now let's look at the, the hack for this thing we have solved. Let's look at the hack. The hack now is going to be, let me still bring down this 5 over 7 down. Five. Now let's look at the hack. I'm bringing down this 5 or let me work with it where it is. So the hack, we are going to use the butterfly style. How do I mean? You do it this way. This will multiply this and this, will, or you do cross multiplication, however you call it. 5 times 5 is 25. Remember that this side is going to still be at the what? The left hand. This one here, we are starting with the numerator, which is 5 there. So we have 5 times 5 is what? That, sorry, 5 times 5 is 25. We are going to have our 25 this way. Plus, 7 times 2 is 14, all over 7 times 5 is 35. Did you see it? You bring down your 35 this way. Did you see that is exactly what we got here? And then you add the same way. We will have 39 all over 35 here. Then you also change it because it is an improper fraction. You take it back to be a mixed number and we are going to have it this way hope you enjoyed this class now let's try number two 
and see how it works. Now let's look at this number two. We have two all over three plus three all over five, right? Now remember, if you look at the denominators, they are also what prime numbers. That means it's only itself and one that can divide, so we can multiply. Or you still use that LCM I just taught you, so you multiply here is going to be fifteen because they are different denominators. So we are going to now multiply to get our new denominator we we'll have 15 right 3 going into 15 will give us how many times that is 5 times 5 times 2 is 10 you write your 10 this way and put your plus 5 going into 15 will give us what 3 and we'll do what 3 times 3 will give us 9 so we have achieved this now we add 10 plus 9 will give us 19, right? 19 all over 15. And this one too is also an improper fraction. So we have to put it in a mixed fraction. You will not leave your answer like this because your examiner will not mark it, right? Or you will get you will not get your full mark. Now we have 15 going there will give us a whole number, right? The what's the remainder? 9 take away 5 is 4, and we are going to have 4 all over. 15 as the final answer 1 whole number 4 over 15 if you multiply it out you still go back to your this 19 over 15 which is an improper fraction now let's also do the butterfly style remember the numerator this one here you multiply with this with the denominator this way and this one will always be by the left hand side what is the reason in case it is a, a subtraction but this one is an addition, so you can this 10 can be here, 9 can be here. But to follow the groove and for it to guide you correctly, this first one here, like the two and the numerator, when you do your butterfly style, is going to be here in case it is a subtraction, so you can be able to subtract and get your good answer, right? Now we have here, we're still doing our butterfly. You do this one, so we are going to have 2 times 5 is 10, right? We have 10 plus. 3 times 3 is 9, all over 3 times 5 is 15. You see, it has brought us back to this place again. So you add, you're going to have 19 over 15, which will give us one whole number, 4 over 15. How is this hack? How is this hack? Wow! Now, remember, I'm not going to leave you empty. I'm going to give you the one that you're going to solve, and we'll discuss the answer in the comments so now let us let's look at this number three four over five plus two over six what is going to be the answer are you going to use the hack or you're going to use the lcm method to solve this hope you enjoyed the class i want to say in the comments please remember to give us a thumbs up you can also share and like bye, -bye.